audience participation poetry. You might well ken this tune, The Bloody Fields of Flanders. There's some quite nice words there written by Hamish Henderson. But the night I wanted to diddle along with, if possible, if you're getting the tune, and I hope you can, it was such a brilliant, but you're not a sign. For this is my poem, my words, all right? No big Hamish's, all right? Are you catching is uh, a dedication to my native land, uh, which confusingly isn't the Uganda, in fact, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't get the tart on the message, <laughs> so it's called, oh, well, come on, sing on a wee bit mere, just a wee bit mere, come on, we're setting the atmosphere for this, it's a short history of Scotland, you see, so keep it going, Joe, I know what the region. <laughs> Scotia, gas cools, forms globe. We've got a planet. Nice hardens rips, out bubbles granite. In bringes, sandstain, offing, ruckles. Bends, loup up, jaggy, thrown and muckle. Fikey and fertile in its youth. Earth gives birth in its deep, deep south to Scotland! I shall need to ken, for here is no quad here was then. <laughs> <laughs> Dumped in the sea, no time for greeting. Our bairn seed gets a decent wheaten, a zillion year old bammy dukin while ancient continents are cooking. Huge land masses on the slide, Laurentia, Avalonia, collide! It isn't quite a tale of fitting, but this dunt mails us into Britain, just geologically speaking. <laughs> <laughs> and we are still wheel doing by and beacon. <sighs> <sighs> Dinosaurs roam the landlocked isles, new floating for 10,000 miles. Fine big beasts, and then outdated. They'd know he liked being glaciated. <laughs> for it's icy stern to grind and buff, then in comes lots of rich green stuff, and folk come dondering, that's us! We hunt together, cause nae fuss. Inhabited, Scotland's been chosen! Oh no, next ice age, obelisk frozen. <laughs> Your culture stint, each glen scoured clean, but life sight ettlesome and keen. It's lichens, moss, and loads of bracken, birch trees, reindeer, then we're back in. It warms with spread without delay, just as the folk at Scarabray, where builders new guys smelt with stains and Martin wee hangs out of beans. Chum in the sun is new or wish, up gone the rings, the stains of Callanish. Sorry, up goes the ring, O'Callanish. We crown a lot of eights and barley. We've got mere time to plan and parley, which means your trees, all pines and aches, begin to feel the sharp flint streaks. Ah, the mochty wind of Caledon, ye mongeloos, will soon he fawn. A new tribes dominate the land, and each end's got a conquest plan. Up gone the hill forts, swords and shields get by to gear the flocks and fields. Our innocence is in the past. Ambition needs a warrior cast. Are you a Briton or a Pict? Oops, here's the legions. <coughs> They're both licked. Still, here I hint the Roman wars. Folk live, love, die, sun shines, rain falls. Three Ireland comes a cousin tongue, and soon the young gods' hymns are sung. Next thing you're felt, that praying and chanting to him on high just works in Latin. <laughs> Help us, the Vikings, wild and hairy, need pipe being this, nice, they will not spare you. While bits sit chittering in a broch, Norse loons drag ships to loch to loch. Soon all your isles to turn Norwegian, there's nowhere safe from Norse besieging, or nasty scraps with Anglo Saxons. There's weird alliances and factions. Pale folks <coughs> suffer, mace kings de quick. The climate, though, it's in good nick. <laughs> Picked, save us at Danach and Moss. 
Then get a sure St Andrews Cross when they beat Misty Athelstane. Fantastic triumphs, but in vain for all this bloody battle and fails. There's no competing way. The Gales. Columba only wanted peace, but knew the Scots demand the lease. It's grabbed with the McAlpin line, the best of Wayne's King Constantine. <laughs> you heard about it. Quite a guy. <laughs> Nation who's sort of in the bag. Andrew's official, we wave his flag. Alba's been their chosen name. New Scotland starts to take a flame. So that's your medieval brand, with Malcolm Canmore in command. His Queen Maggie, being Hungarian, brings some continental mammals in. <sighs> Young Eck the Third, Constun to Largs. Big storm, we battle, gurgles, args, surviving Vikings, paddle hame. So we are no nurse now, what a shame. <laughs> Get social security system to get pensions like that. <laughs> get time for peasants, here's to succeed. Then Eck falls off his horse, he's dead. <laughs> and we're conquered, it's England's turn with 20 years to Bannock burn. Pierre Wallace and Ed Langshank's this. Come on, the inspire, inspire the Bruce. <laughs> and plague to undermine the nation. <laughs> Bring on the Stuarts though. Oh, inspiring who this royal bunch keeps going. Oh, the Jameses. Here's the fourth year. Renaissance Prince, he's good at all thing. Max a match with an English rose, then fests her folk, and our blood flows and flows all day, and flood and stain with that of which your country's drained. Still it survives, and here's the thing. You like find a replacement king. <laughs> <laughs> Mind, during that reign, out of Britain, it's here for the best poems are written. Ah. <laughs> the Kirk reforms, up pops John Knox, stained glass against reforming rocks. Ah, Mary, your queen, you'll ken her story. Romance, disasters, ending, gory. <laughs> Next, name your wars, the Queen's united. No, civil war, Stuart King indicted. <laughs> <laughs> Montrose, one of my favourite historical characters, by the way, Marcus Montrose. Montrose, brave Marquis. Kind writes poems, kills mere Scots and their English foes. <laughs> <laughs> Young battle lost, a broad hame snaffled, broad speech last poem, high street scaffold. He'd fallen full of the Covenanters, but soon it's their turn for mishanters. Extreme and throwing, it seems they're pushing for martyrdom and persecution. There's worse! For New York Parliament is acting like its time is spent. Folk rouge their fizzing with ill temper as bribes beget the British Emperor. Well, Darry in a stain of riches, the least wise we've stopped burning witches. <laughs> <laughs> but saying the dread word Jacobite stirs up all kinds of ethnic spite, till folly and Dramossi Muir colloding, the halo gildums on the skewer. It's speaking Scotch next gets folk frightened. Oh, frightened. <laughs> For once they went as soon then lightened. All Drake's full of brilliant folk blethering through the reek, new smoke. But as Scots that young Rab Ferguson screams in the four hour early perishing. Their sciences and philosophies and our four universities and Ferguson's inspired Rab Burns to give vent in his airship tongue. Then all the novels of why Scots hit the global top sales slots. Are we amongst the world's best nations? No! Since we slavery's plantations, we've sent you half the overseers with whips draw out the bitter tears. Out here, Tam Muir the Democrats hold off to us. Oh, that was a wee addition, I can't get that bit right, you'll miss that bit. Tam, you're a good lad, do I? So next time you'll hear a bit about me. <laughs> As this could lead to certain tensions, it's time to list your great inventions. There's logarithms, chloroform, you'll ken them all a wondrous swarm. Scots education to the fore, and we've got coal and iron ore. Black steward, bad grub, dreek lives, ill health. Langures, low wages, maester's wealth. Bairns are for working, no for rearing. But folk all want Scots engineering. A separate nation, that soon's gleek it. The empire's rich new, grab some, take it. At him though, dual fate disappearances, as clan chiefs distribute their clearances. Yin Duke gets statued up in Brora for helping mark your diaspora. Missionaries, lots of whiskey, Glasgow's the Empire's second city. A century of kilted sodgers, that's a lot of beltless badgers. <laughs> Scurl the bikes and raise a steward, fecht French and Russians and the boor. Hard to the folk, forget the sums, but most of us new living slums. 
and then we're battling with the Hun. It's heel and laddie trenches fun. As our man Haig chines up the dots, there's some goops up the Royal Scots, and it's Elsie Ingalls, Red Clyde side, and John McLean against the tide. A hero's land, nay ill suggestion. So let's bring on the Great Depression. And all your famed industrialisation doesn't quite support the nation. We're football daft, go. We're the same inventors of the passing game. <laughs> <laughs> Yinst we growlock English gizzards. <laughs> Crueler yet, the Wembley Wizards. <laughs> <laughs> 28 5 1 was the <laughs> <laughs> last great mission for the Empire, stick it out the Nazi vampire. Then, <coughs> Labour gets the the stories. But why so many Gleski Tories? Well, they've got their own colour scheme in politics. It's orange green. Look back at Harley's detection to spot the Irish Scots connection. And breaking half still aft the bile, till sudden like it's Scotland's Isle. An obvious half way solution, though what a task is devolution. As folks stand vigil in the rain, and all sang kindles up again. This history makes no seem fair. There's something needs a wee bit mere, and that's the role that women played in our unfolding masquerade. Some wasted firm while cruelty raged, were tortured, misused, or engaged. Some hailed like the Congress of Buckin, but mace for bit he'd mill or clacking. All kinds of folk, fra all the world, knew help the saltire to unfurl. New borderers, fifers, Hebrideans, are they Scots, Brits, or Europeans? Get the Brehan Sears E perceiving awing, hope to see if Britain's best or Scotia free can all droots feed your sapling tree. What is the weird that we maun dree? Well, wave power by your nation's fee. Dunnocks, beef coos, barley brie, Edinburgh Festival, Tyree, what's best, the world class or the wee? Well, we all learned in Nordic ski or tumble feckless doing the scree. That's me tumbling feckless doing the scree again. Help, we don't recall it. And what can we shape? What just must be? As this unsheer clan jamfery would bring Calgacus, the great British hero, to his knee. I'll close, but leave the yet a G for some bar better far than me. Thank <laughs> you.